Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Chilling with Kathy. I'm Kathy Nukhara Hadira and today we are shooting at the Vice Cafe in Melville on 7th Street. Today next to me we have uh, the awesome Leroy Gopal. He is a voiceover artist, he is a director, he is an actor, the works. How are you? I'm fantastic Kathy and it's so lovely to be here thank with you today. Thank you, thank you for joining me today. Awesome, awesome. So, so let's get straight into it Mr. Gopal. Um, tell me about your love for the industry. How did that uh, come about? Um, I started acting when I was 13 years old and I think over the years uh, I've developed a passion for for just entertainment as a whole. Mm -hmm. And apart from just being an actor, uh, you know, like you said, I'm also a voiceover artist, but the one thing that I've really taken a passion to now and that has grown on me is, I think, coaching people okay. uh, in acting, in, in voice, in presenting, um, and just in entertainment as a whole. You know? mm -hmm. um, so um, I think in training people also really, uh, I train myself. Yes. And I really get to polish up on certain things that I might, I might have become complacent. Mm. <laughs> I mean, because you do, because you've been in this for such a long time, so yeah. you may get complacent at times. So it's always good to, you know, build on that and um, build yourself. And yeah. he's also trained me, by the way. So yeah, so, so yes. I'm watching very close. <laughs> he's taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, if someone would want to be a part of your workshops, like you say, you train people, how can they go about it and do that? Um, you can actually just email me, LeroyGopal at me. Com, um, and then we set up workshops. Uh, assessments are free, so your first assessment where you come, so we can gauge where you are in terms of voice, in terms of performance or presenting. Yeah. That's free. Okay. Uh, I can't charge anybody to to see how good or how not good. Yeah. You are. yeah. <laughs> no one should ever pay for that. Yeah. Um, and then from there we can really assess and see how many you know uh, sessions one would need okay. and how much. Uh, training you'd need to do to improve whatever talent you have. Yeah. All right. So you were born in Zimbabwe, right? That's correct. And then you later moved. When exactly did you move to South Africa? Um, I've actually been in South Africa for 18 years. Oh wow. So basically, it's like I spent half my life in Zimbabwe yeah. and half my life I've been in South Africa. Okay. So tell me, you know how difficult it is for people that are um, from different African countries to come into South Africa and you know have a lucrative career yeah. um, in South Africa, and you have a successful one to Thank you. that. Um, how were you able to do that? Um, you know, uh, in, in the beginning it really wasn't easy, it was very tough um, starting out. Um, as we were talking actually before we started shooting, yeah. at some point in my life I remember I was a waiter, I did all kinds of jobs because for me uh, I think failure wasn't an option yeah. and, and like getting it wrong was, wasn't an option. And when I started living in South Africa it was after I'd done a really great film called Yellow Card in Zimbabwe so I was, I was already in the industry and I was a kid that grew up in the industry but resilience and really going after exactly what you came here to do yeah. is always the plan. However, um, I would always recommend people that you never not only do one thing. Yes, you know, uh, yes. And I think anyone who comes from any country uh, to come settle in a different country that's not of their birthright, mm. you can never find yourself doing only one thing. Yeah. You so find you yourself, you've got, your, into yeah, you, you've got your fingers in a whole lot of pies. Um, so uh, I think for me it was a matter of resilience, it was a matter of really doing things the right way because I never wanted to find myself being deported mm -hmm. or being in trouble <laughs> or that kind of a situation. Yes. So I, I really got my study permit correctly, I studied, I finished my studies, got my work permit and after that I had my residency. So uh, you know I followed the right procedures too in terms of doing that. It, it just makes things easier. Yeah. Apart from that, um, um, I'm also a very supportive husband. <laughs> That's <laughs> so, great. So, we need those. Yeah. So you know I'm part of uh, my wife's uh, uh, makeup. Uh, production as well. She's a she's a professional makeup artist. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you know the, the company that we have uh, does those different umbrellas underneath that. Okay. So I'm part of that, and I'm like my wife's personal assistant. Mm -hmm. So if you see oh, you on a shoot with bags of makeup, <laughs> the, uh, no sets, sad, up, no brushes and stuff, <laughs> don't think me yeah. weird. But it's also part of what I do because I do believe that uh, you know in any marriage. It's very good to support each other and be, mm. you know, be very supportive to one another. That's great stuff. Now tell me, Abu Mama. Yes. I, I watched it. It's, it's actually very, very great. How did that come about? That's a really fantastic show, and um, I think it's also it's also come off 
at the back of me having taken a break from the television mm. industry. Mm. Um, I think for about three years or so, uh, people have been asking, why have you missing in action? Where are you? Where are you? Exactly. Yeah. You know? um, and of course, I've been busy with the things that we were speaking about now. Mm-hmm. Um, but Abu Mama is such a beautifully written show. It's mm-hmm. wonderfully directed by one of my best friends, Thomas Kumede. Okay. Um, and the great thing about it also is we, we're doing the things that we prayed for. Yeah. And I think of Thomas. Yeah. You know, when we're young, would speak of how started out. Yeah, yeah, you know, like hey man, I've got this very moment. Yeah, you know, like hey man, it'd be great if, if I was acting in a show and you were directing, yeah. or vice versa. Yeah. You know, and, and read the... As an actor, what are some of the challenges you faced with the characters that you played? Um, I think more than I don't think really there'd be challenges to say as an actor with regards to characters. Okay. Um, I think the challenges I faced as an actor is the inconsistency of. Of production, mm. uh, on the, from a production point of view, I think for me is what I find very challenging as an actor. Where, um, you know, for example, now we've, we've shot Abu Mama and it's got great traction. Everybody loves it. Yeah. Um, it's going to be maybe another year before a great production comes along, mm. where you are in the height of going. I'm loving performance. I'm, I'm understanding the character. I'm, 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 I'm translating scripts properly. Yeah. Um, and before for that year. You've then just got to get out of it and now you've got to hustle on the other side of the fence, you know? Which for me, well, you know, we, we're not, we don't live in Hollywood where you do one show and then you can sit back and be like, cool, it's going to pay my bills for the next we'll two years. For the next one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I think the challenge is to always go forth and bang down the doors to say, guys, I'm here, I've got this, or I want to do this, get me onto this show, you know? Uh, I think for me, I find that's more the challenge of it. In terms of performance, um, I think. Little, little challenges such as maybe co-stars not having learned their lines or okay. not as committed. That must be a problem. It, it is very frustrating, yeah. you know. But um, uh, you know those kind of things where people come and, and you are ready to give everything that you have, mm. and you get people who are there who are just complaining, you're not prepared, yeah. um, and they'll never blame themselves. They're always look for somebody else to say, yeah, yeah but the director said this, didn't say this. But this. The producer didn't. So, any last words you'd like to um, say? Well, um, you know, I, I want to tell anybody who's wanting to be in entertainment, in fact, in any industry, you know, in whatever you do, you've um, got to absolutely give it your best. And okay is not all right good to enough. say. Yeah, it's yeah. not good enough. You've, and don't be afraid to work hard. Uh, I think a lot of people are afraid to commit too much. It's the reason why a lot of relationships don't work, because people feel like, ah, I'm commit too much, it's going to end, it's not going to work out, you know, so... Don't be afraid to love hard, to give hard, and, and to work hard. Yeah. So you just gotta love everything. I believe love is king. <laughs> love is everything. And how would you rate me? Um, you know, you've done, this is really amazing. I'm even scared to no, ask. No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm really impressed. Is it? Um, and, I, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. As somebody who like, met you at a point where you're like, I want to do this, yeah. and now you're doing it. And you've done really, really well. Um, and funny enough, I should tell you guys, there's a point where Kathy couldn't even like you, you couldn't hear what she was saying. I was used to be, I can't hear what you're saying. Sorry, what Press was that? Open yeah. your mouth. <laughs> so yeah. this was really lovely. It was so, so, so wonderful spending time with you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you too, Mr. Gopal. Yeah. So if you want to get a hold of him, he did say you can um, email him on info. Yeah, um, so uh, Leroy, Go- Leroy Gopal at me.com. Mm-hmm. That's Leroy Gopal at me.com. Uh, and you can follow me on Instagram, Leroy, at Leroy Gopal. Everything is Leroy, Leroy Gopal. Gopal. Facebook, Simple. Twitter, Leroy Gopal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Um, do subscribe and let me know what you think.